happy holidays. My first guest tonight hails from Kentucky and is the grandson of a Pentecostal preacher. But on the stage, his soft-spoken, gentlemanly manners give way to lusty, boisterous, rockin' and rollin'. Billy Ray Cyrus started out playing small clubs and bars in West Virginia and Kentucky, but almost overnight graduated to the biggest stages in the country. We managed to catch up with him at Lanierland in Buffalo, New York, for a tantalizing glimpse at the man who's breaking hearts all over America. The Cyrus virus started spreading last spring. Ray Cyrus and slide down. Now it's reached epidemic proportions. Wait a minute, did you get that? I consider myself Billy Ray Cyrus from Flatwoods, Kentucky, a man who makes music his way. Could you repeat that, please? I'm still Billy Ray Cyrus from Flatwoods, Kentucky. Yes, in case you missed it, his name is Billy Ray Cyrus. He's from Flatwoods, Kentucky. But don't let his modest background fool you. He is the hottest, some say hunkiest, star to hit the country western music scene of late. His meteoric rise even dimmed, temporarily at least, the bright lights of stars such as Garth Brooks. Anybody got an achy, breaky heart? Achy Breaking Heart is Billy Ray's signature song. These days, the audience knows the lyrics so well, Billy Ray doesn't even have to sing it. Don't feel my heart. Don't But it's not just the song that's enraptured American audiences. It's the heartthrob who sings it, 30-year-old Billy Ray. And believe me, his fans' interest in his anatomy doesn't stop at his heart. His looks have been compared to Mel Gibson or George Michael, but it's Elvis's name that's whispered whenever Billy Ray starts a shaking and a quaking up on stage. Well, there could be no higher compliment, you know, but uh, the truth of the matter is, is uh, I'm Billy Ray Cyrus from Flatwoods, Kentucky, uh, a man who makes music his way. Okay, okay, but is this really country western music? Or pop? Or rockabilly? Or what? Do you know, how would you define your music? One time in Huntington, West Virginia, there was a TV reporter there, and uh, he was trying to describe my show, and he called it... Appalachian Swamp Rock Country Boogie Blues, and that's about the best definition that I've heard of it yet. His look is also an amalgam of styles. He doesn't sport the ubiquitous cowboy hat of many country western singers. He does wear tight jeans, but he tops them off with muscle shirts. And whoever heard of a country western star wearing high tops? If somehow you've missed the whole Billy Ray Cyrus achy breaking heart phenomenon, it's probably because it happened so quickly. Even in an industry where fame can happen overnight, Billy Ray Cyrus has set new records. Many people just absolutely clamored at the stage. For Billy Ray, and here he is now. A year ago, Billy Ray Cyrus was a virtual unknown. Last March, he burst onto the scene with the single, Achy Breaky Heart. And within weeks, the song had skyrocketed to number one on both the country and pop billboard charts. Every hour, at least one song. We've got uh, Achy Breaky Heart coming up for you. A lot of requests for that, as well as the other nine selections from the Some Gave All CD. To top that, his debut album, Some Gave All, did the same thing. It was the first debut album by a country artist to ever top both country and pop charts. Thank you all for calling your radio stations. Unlike many musicians, Billy Ray didn't grow up dreaming of a career in music. He played sports as a kid and planned on becoming a professional baseball player. Ten years ago, he traded in the baseball bat for a guitar and formed the band Sly Dog. Cyrus spent the last five years hitting the bars and clubs in Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. His big break came when Mercury signed him to record Achy Breaky, written by another struggling musician. Add a dance contest and a video to the song, and you've got what some have called a triumph of marketing. And that led to Cyrus's success. Billy Ray seems to love the audience as much as it loves him. 
at Lanier Land in Cumming, Georgia this fall, he even let fans come right up to the stage to photograph him. And he's often the last one to leave the stage after a concert. Just last night, as I was leaving the arena, we played Toronto, and, and I was the last one leaving the entire Coliseum, and I looked at my drummer and said, Greg, you remember, man, I was always the last one to leave the bar during all those years that we played back in West Virginia and Ohio and Kentucky, and I was always the last one to leave. And now, just like the rest of my life, everything that's going on in my life is exactly what I've been going through for the last 10 years, except it's on a much larger scale. Have there been any instances where fans have taken too many liberties with you, like come up and pat you on the behind or grab you too hard? Uh, if I got pinched on the butt, it wouldn't be the first time I ever got pinched on the butt, so. <laughs> Another sign of Billy Ray's popularity with the opposite sex are the scads of panties and bras that are tossed up on the stage at the end of every performance. Do you get embarrassed when people throw underwear at you? You know, it depends on where it lands. One lady threw one and it drooped right over my microphone. I'm, and uh, I was singing a very serious song. And, and that one I got a little bit embarrassed on. But uh, most of the time I just kind of check it out and, and uh, I think it's fun. There are some rumors about Billy Ray once having been a Chippendales dancer. For those who haven't had the pleasure, Chippendales is a strip club in which men do the stripping for women. How would you feel if I asked you to take your shirt off? Although Billy Ray seems to have all the right moves on stage, he says he was never part of the Chippendales and that actually he's sort of a shy kind of guy when it comes to dancing. To be honest with you, I, I get too embarrassed to dance, you know, like I never danced at high schools in, in dances unless it was a slow song over in the corner in the dark. As far as to go out and do dancing in public, that would, I just, I'm just too bashful to do that. Keeping in mind that I have a very different personality when I get on stage and make my music. When you were growing up, you, you, you said you were shy and you were ugly. I can't imagine you being shy and ugly. My ears stuck out and my eyes was great big and I always had quite a bit of dirt on me and uh, uh, yeah, I just wasn't a very, very pretty thing to look at. When did you become the swan? When did you change into Billy Ray Cyrus, what we see now? I don't know. I, sometimes I, I think I'm still just that same old guy. Billy Ray has had his share of critics, among them those who say he is a one-hit wonder country western music star Travis Tritt publicly criticized Billy Ray and poked fun at his achy breaky heart. Once they listen to my music and um, they listen to what's inside that they find that there's something much much more. So you're not worried about being pigeonholed by achy breaky heart? I'm not worried about that. I don't, I don't make my music for those people. I make my music for the fans and for myself. When you look out there, when we play Some Gave All, and when you see that sea of lighters, and when you see all those flags, and when you see grown men cry, and small children sing, and all these emotions, you realize that uh, the music will stand alone. And Some Gave All, the title track of his debut album, was written by Cyrus as a tribute to Vietnam vets. You know, I was playing this bar in Huntington, West Virginia, and uh, uh, I met this Vietnam veteran and, and asked him what he would like to hear, and, and he made some requests. As he left, he said to me, uh, all gave some, but some gave all. And when he said that, my mind went back to when I was a kid. I used to go to this town where we played football, and, and uh, they had a statue of a veteran in front of their courthouse, and it said, all gave some, but some gave all. And the song just came, and within a matter of a minute and a half, the words and the melody and everything was on the tape, and it was just done. Billy Ray does play on traditional country western themes, such as patriotism. He even sings the Star Spangled Banner at many concerts. And another of his popular songs, Where Am I Gonna Live, was inspired, according to him, by his wife, now ex-wife, throwing him out of the house. He 
says he's very much in tune with his audience's feelings. I have a special talent. I was born a human vibrator. You said you were the human vibrator. Vibe reader. I oh. read people's vibes. It sounded like you no. said vibrator. I read people's vibes. I can tell, I, I pick up vibes. Vibe reader, vibe reader. A lot of people around us thought you said braider. <laughs> Let you go before he kills You're us. funny. I like that. <laughs> That's funny, man. First person error. Whether it's hip swivels or flag waving or reading people's vibes, Billy Ray really grabs his audience. And he won't have to worry about where he's going to live, at least not right now. He's on top of the country western world. This fall, Billy Ray's Achy Breaky Heart took the Country Music Award for the single of the year. He's also added acting to his list of goals and signed with ABC to do a made-for-television movie and two music specials, all to be broadcast right here on Channel 2.